Hello beautiful Pisces and welcome back to your extended. So this is the second video of the day. This is to clarify the first one. And the, third, the first card that came out this week for the work to be done is to finally, I guess, get into your pool mode. And some of you may have already started your new journey, but are you feeling the fool? Are you still carrying some of the old stuff from behind you to move forward? And I feel that's what Spirit is saying. They really want you to be... Um, not the, not pretending to start a new journey, to actually feel your new journey. I decided to take the Vice Versa Tarot. I haven't used that one in a long time. It's just kind of called to me. I love the double cards, like the both sides of the cards. So, um, I feel that they really talk about the duality that we feel most of our lives on the planet. We're always, even when we we're getting over. We're trying to embrace the journey of the physical side, the, the one that we decided we're going to take when we come here. And then, but at the same time, we're trying to be more of the spiritual being of who we are eternally. And I feel that there's always that duality between the two, and they're always fighting with each other. And I think sometimes we can marry them together pretty good, but sometimes we're we're still just struggling through, right? So, I would give you as a suggestion, as somebody who has the same journey as you, Pisces, who um, follows in the same tracks of that duality, is that when you need more humanity, get grounded to the planet, reconnect to it somehow, to the people around you. And when you're too connected, in other words, too weighed down in your humanity, then take the time and get connected to spirit by meditation and just uh, lightness of being or feeling that way. So I would say just use them both uh, together and just do the best that you can, Pisces, okay? I'm using the Healing Mantra deck here to help you out. So, so three came out. Let's see what they have to say. All right. Integrating the ego. Wow. Everything is for me, not against me. Right. That's what I was saying this morning, right? Um, sometimes we think, like, I went to see my father and I thought, oh, you know, I lacked hugs from you. And he's going, at this stage, when you're, and you're visiting me as energy, you're still believing, like, in the journey that this was a lack and not a lesson. And it's very important that you remember that. Okay, before I carry on and before I forget, after you finish watching this video, I've put a playlist below. This is to help me and this channel to increase view time. They're older videos, so you may have not seen them in a while or ever if you are new. So out of that playlist, there's 14, such there will be 14 this week. So if you would like to support me, if it is within your heart and your time to do so, I invite you to watch another video after this one to help this channel. We're going back to the reading. Deconstructing doubt. Look at that. Only my beliefs are in my way. And I feel that. This getting stuck in this never-ending story of going back and forth. So clean that up. Okay? Clean up that doubt. And cultivating courage. There's that beautiful strength card that came out this morning. Okay? Cultivating courage. In any given moment, always know exactly what to do. Right. Believe in yourself. Know that everything... You know how you do this? By knowing that being in this moment is exactly where you need to be. I'm going to give you a little trick of that. Okay? The stuff... I'm going to be a little crude here. Shit can be falling down around you. And if you stand in the middle of that... And are trying to or, and say to yourself, I'm exactly where I'm supposed to be right now. As in, if imagine yourself having written down your journey, including this crap show that you are in right now. Okay? 
imagine that you're just Imagine yourself, I have a little amnesia. I wrote down the story, but I have a little amnesia when it comes to certain things. It's because I gotta figure out this puzzle. I gotta figure out what I'm supposed to see. I'm exactly where I'm supposed to be. There you go. You're standing in your power. You're not letting the situation take something from you. You are trying to pull everything you can out of that situation. You cultivate the courage, you deconstruct the doubt of yourself and anything, and you're integrating the ego. I like this. Everything is for me, not against me, right? You're no longer the victim. You believe in everything that happens for you. Okay, so I'm going to look here. I'm going to do the quick little read through the books. They give us books, so I like to read them, especially for the oracles. I feel they always have a little something for everybody, okay? When your ego is integrated, there are no problems to fix or questions to answer. There are just the aligned responses of the soul's reality, acknowledging life as a fertile ground where greater expansion is revealed. As you integrate your ego, every moment can be seen to be conspiring for your highest evolution instead of plotting against you. Didn't I just say that? Okay, so this mantra is ideal for overcoming victimhood, being more grateful, and becoming more forgiving. The next one is deconstructing doubt. As you deconstruct doubt, you are no longer lost in the concerns and curiosity of what if, but are more rooted in the truth of what is, right now, in the present. Okay, that's what I'm saying. Stand in your moment. Okay? Um, when your doubt is deconstructed, hardship is no longer a sign of misfortune. It's an opportunity to step outside your comfort zone and meet the highest aspect of soul that exists just beyond the boundary of self. This mantra is ideal for aligning with truth, being more self-actualized, and transforming inferiority. Transformation came in on Sunday. Transformation. Okay, you want to move into that energy. Cultivating courage. When courage is cultivated, you are aware of your choices. Right here. And able to pinpoint your most inspired options with accuracy and ease. Inspiration, fulfillment. Right here. Such options may not always match up with the things you want, but they will always give you the exact experiences you need to further evolve your soul. As you cultivate courage, you are stepping into a new frontier of soul expansion where life has permission to guide you forward in the fulfillment, oh, I just said fulfillment, and long-awaited destiny. Breaking old happens, deepening your focus and following your heart. The heart is here, underneath here. The heart is here, seeing the truth of the matter to move on. Um, of course, these readings are very, uh, they're very aligned. Very often, always. They make my life easy. They make my journey as a reader really easy. <laughs> All right, Pisces. So, we're going to take a greater, a, a closer look at the three cards at the top here. I'm going to pan in. Take this beautiful um, fool. Let's take a look here, Pisces. Let's see what these cards have to say. Okay, so the first the first card from this morning that came out on the work to be done is I feel it's like getting out of your bubble. Okay, I feel that the seven of wands for you needs to disappear. This is what I feel. And disappear how? By you seeing it as a whole different thing. Okay. Yeah. You have the five of cups that came out. And if you see this figure is looking out forward. He's not looking at the cups that have fallen. He's not looking at the... Um, 
I feel he's not looking at the cups that are left. He's just looking forward. It's getting out of the situation completely. You're looking to the horizon to see if there's anything there. I, f I feel that more and more. I feel that not even the choice that was left in the circumstances that were there are applying to you anymore. Okay? This morning I was talking about getting a hug from my father when he was in a physical form. Uh, when I went to see him, I was talking about lack of hugs. Even going into the energy field and asking him for a hug now. That was, he was explaining to me, you're living in that physical ego moment. Okay? You're seeing the good and the bad in the physical moment, in that experience. What you need to do is move beyond that experience. So this is what this is saying. You need to move beyond this. You need to go past that never-ending story, clean it up, clean up that energy into your new path, new one, okay? That's like thinking a brand new story, something different, okay? So that when I see my father now, I see him as a an energy for that has helped me grow and that I don't need to go and ask for a hug. All I need to do is just bring his energy in, okay? Wrap it around me, and there it is. But he is no longer Father, he is energy. He is part of me. He is part of helping me. He's helping me in this journey right now. Okay, so let's see here, Pisces. For the High Priestess, I feel a lot of that is just looking into exactly that, spirit, okay? Look in your big bag of goodies, okay? As I said, I don't know if it's this morning or before, if you can't get the information um, from your physical side, from you being grounded, then go to your spiritual side. Okay, always be looking for the different things that you can uh, get. There's many options for you. You have the Seven of Pentacles, always like the assessment card. So you need to assess what you're stuck into exactly here this never-ending study what is what is keeping you where you are where are you shielding yourself from is there a different thought is there a different way of seeing things you have the beautiful um strength card coming in stepping into your power when you do this you step into the power that is yours So this is the Justice card. Aha, here we go. So the Libra energy is still with us, okay? It's the scales of balance. Because it is in reverse, not reverse, but flip the vice versa, um, I'm looking at this as that the growth of this is finally coming in. You see it? You see this? And you see the beautiful butterfly and you see the scales being thrown down. Um, it's not what you're used to. This uh, energy makes me feel, like I said, this is always telling you there's something more. See the cosmos? It's like him. He's looking for this. He's looking outward. You're looking beyond the situation. You're looking beyond the scales that were here. And there was something you were not seeing. And it's over here, okay? It's over here. Things are changing. You've thrown out the old scales. You've come in with new scales because you can see them there as well. This transformation, the butterfly, it's, it's always there, that butterfly. I'm trying to see with this, but it's, it's fine. Yeah, I love, I love this energy, uh, Pisces. This, for me, feels very, very, very... I'm, tr I'm trying to see. I feel that there is more to this than meets the eye. I feel that you've discarded an old truth here. You've stepped into your power. 
the Justice card always feels like somebody who's sitting in their power. They don't always know what's coming, but they do always... They feel like they're exactly where they're supposed to be. There's a lot of there's a lot of seated and very fair energy, something that feels right for you, that makes you feel balanced, okay? I don't know what else I can say for that. I don't think there is anything else to say. Right, so I'm going to let you gaze on the picture. Why don't you tell me in the comment section what you're feeling with this? I feel they really want you to pay attention to this image. There you go. All right, Pisces, so let me know. I don't know why they had me do that, but I, I don't question anything. I just do. I just do. My guides know better. So you have the Three of Swords here. From seeing the truth to move on. Okay, you got to get past this gray. I don't feel her pain. I feel her frustration. I feel like, okay, enough. I want out. I want, you know, I want out of here. I don't want to be stuck there anymore. I don't want this never ending story of, of feeling that lack. I don't want that anymore. Right. You're ready to climb that mountain. Okay. It's, it's that bubbling up. It's like, I've had enough, okay? It's like, everything's going to blow up. You're going to do a clean slate. That is that is what this card feels. The Five of Wands, that clean slate that just... You're, there's a problem to solve, and you're going to solve it. You're going to see the truth. You're going to move past this, and you're going to get away from this. Fire does do that, Pisces, though. Okay? Fire does will clean it up. Even uh, fires that um, devastate um, within a few years, things start growing again. Okay? It's a renewal. It's a renewal. The Emperor coming in. The Two of Cups, bringing in harmony. Equality. A balance. Again with the balance. Okay? Again with the two. Um, it's bringing things in in a different way that's going to balance you out, that's going to harmonize you that's going to give you that power, that personal power feeling that you need. Contemplating. You have the Three of Pentacles that are coming in with this. The Three of Pentacles cards is always the card of teamwork. Um, either people or spirit coming in, giving you help. It's working with assistants. It's contributors. It's mentors. It's planning. It's learning. They're very much together. Again, there's the two, there's the balance, there's the strength. Your strength comes from you knowing who to look for for help. For me, it is my immediate family around me that I keep close. It is my spirit guides that come in and give me a hand. It is my, um, my angels that come in and help me as well. You have to find your team. You have to find your tribe. Your tribe, and they do, you don't necessarily need to bug them. Once you get honed in on that, they will come in when you need them. They will show themselves when they are needed, because that's the way it works. Okay, you call in the energy you need, and it appears. It comes in. 
the Hierophant. Letting go. Going beyond, above. Getting past the stuck. The chariot card. Right. Look how high he is in this chariot. Look, just, just look how high he is. It's really great. This one is, even in the back of it, if you look, it's the road behind falls, but it came in this way. So you're not even looking behind. You're not even, like, here. You're not looking at the cups that were falling down. Okay? You're just looking ahead. Just like this Justice card. You're looking ahead. You're not looking for anything behind. You're moving past that. You're going up, 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 up. Seeing way above. The Page of Pentacles. The Apprentice. The Knowledge. Again, with the Two of Wands, it already come out. In this case, she has a globe sitting beside her, but she's not looking at it. He is actually looking at a ball of light, a ball of energy. Okay? So it's seeing things in a different way. It is not seeing it as you've seen it before. It's seeing it in a different way. Your path is clear. You just need to figure it out. Okay? Your choices are not blocked. It's, it's transforming them, as I said with this card earlier. And I'm going to go out a little bit here because this is the last card. As I said this morning, you have this card, turning those cups, um, turning them upright so that you're in the receiving mode and the seeing mode. You can both see and receive. Six of Cups. Everything is possible. Again, the cups go from being flipped to turn around and full of flowers, full of abundance, full of gratitude and joy. The energy is very much flipped. Underneath you have the Three of Wands showing a launch. And if you see you have the yin and yang that he is holding in his hands. And it also could be if you look at it from a distance, if you have bad eyesight such as I do. I first thought I went, oh, that could be the earth and the fire I was seeing here. The earth, the globe, and the fire of the Two of Wands and this Three of Wands. Okay, so it's putting them together. In the end, you're going to need to have, you're going to need to put everything that you've learned together to weave the magic that you need. Okay, we like to go one side or the other all the time, but it truly is about putting all of those sides together and making them work. And I do believe your transformation is at hand, Pisces. I really do. I would like you to take a moment after this reading and ask yourself something that maybe you've been stuck on how you can switch it around like how how could you make this situation a completely different one make it look completely different than what it is I know for some you're, you're not going to understand but for some of you it's really going to resonate inside of you okay like I was talking with my father I saw it in one way, and then it became something completely different. So try to do that with something that is just holding you back right now, and see how that feels. Wear that energy for a few days, okay?
Thank you so much for being here. I'm sending you lots of love, light, and blessings. And like this video uh, before you take off, please. And write me a comment. And uh, thank you so much. Take care, Pisces.